This has never been discussed anywhere until this moment. Into the first year of working with Michael, I began to notice problems. Good guy, good actor, but there were things happening that I couldn't account for in behaviorally. And about halfway through, I asked him to come in, we talked, it seemed fine, so back to work. And end of the day, we talked to him again when he was more tired. And he began to manifest symptoms of psychosis, where he talked about looking for messages to him in the papers, that, he was, that the FBI was following him, that he was getting secret messages in television programs. And I realized he was heading for a psychotic break. My psychology background came into play. And I didn't know what to do. Because when he was, they were, most of the time he was fine. But every so often under stress, out would come delusional behavior. I don't know, what do I do? What do I do? My first show, first season, if I tell Warners about this, they'll pull the plug. I finally decided I'm going to tell Warners. I have to. I talked to Michael. I said, you know, we need to get you. We don't have the power to force you to get medication, but <clears throat> I can stop this so you can get the care you need. He says, don't do it. Don't do it. I can't be responsible for the show shutting down, everyone losing their jobs. I can get through this. If you help me, I can get through this. And I said, if you really want a chance, I'll give you that chance. We're going to assign someone to work with you and keep an eye on you. The moment the needle goes into the red, we're pulling the plug. Understand that. He said, I understand. I will work with you. We'll make this happen. And he held on by his fingernails for that season. I could see the strain it was taking on him, the toll it was taking, but he held on. And I was at any moment prepared to pull the trigger on this thing. He finished the season up, and I pulled him into the office. I said, you and I both know this is getting worse. We both know you're not going to make it to another season if, if things as way they are. I'm going to move on from you as the commander of the station. Don't worry about it. Whatever your rent needs are for the while, I'll take care of it. Food, I got to cover it. We will get you treatment. We will get you better. And I spent the next year or so working with him and to a degree with his family to get him the care that he needed while we brought on Sheridan let's say that role and <clears throat> got him the proper meds it was a long process of getting it worked out um, in the next year I said can you come back to do a two part we kept a secret because they wanted to kill his career <clears throat> and got him to a point where he could now come back and do a two parter to close off that arc and introduce the notion of him being Balin and we finished the episode, and he, as we're sitting in the office, um, I said, well, we're going to keep working with you and make this better, and I'll keep the secret to my, my grave. He says, you don't have to. He says, look, keep it, to, keep it to my grave, because if anything ever happens to me, I want people to know that this is a problem, and here's why I left, because people need to know that there's a problem in their family. If, it, if, it, if this can happen to a, an actor, a star of a show, a commander of a station, can happen to anyone and it's not a scandalous thing it can be dealt with so if anything ever happens to me i want you to be free to talk about this so well, it's not going to happen you got to live all of us so, yeah. and <clears throat> in the years that passed he got, he stayed on the beds he got married he had a kid he started to get his acting career back together for reasons unknown he fell off the meds and the fall was hard we tried to keep in touch with him. He just disappeared off the grid and ended up in a um, halfway house under medication. And just this past year, passed away from a heart attack. And when I go to this convention in Phoenix in about a week and a half, I will be telling that story for the first time ever. It's so tragic. It's, we lost a number of cast members from the show and that one was the most tragic because he fought so hard to make that work and to come back. And it's a terrible loss.